All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, Nick Martial Arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent. John, we kick the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards in some of the biggest moments in UFC history. Now, if the Knicks is just gonna happen, the Knicks will never get their act together, and I'm okay with it. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, you need to use 
his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big combination. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, no shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at the force behind that leg kick. He gets to his spot, the tie clip. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Flush right hand is true. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Looked like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. Head kick lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's 
throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This Whoa! connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. The offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Both skipped on all these shots getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. He's talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Right punches there. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Nice leg kick. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. How good is that right hand? Oh, he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice leg kick land. Big punch lands in the middle. Both guys landing big shots. He throws the right hand there. Beautiful kick. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when he was going to go low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Sneaky head kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Lance with the right hand. Nice head kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its hulse. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. What a punch. Oh, nice. Get the hands going here early. Two rounds in the books. 
All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon. Arena. Here we go, third round of this championship. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Head kick is blocked. Hands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Visibly limping here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found big kick lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land his strike. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice loop of punch. Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got it hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Right hand on point. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's where the opponent wins. Yes, he got All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard back. 
Gets up again here, but Hurton. Big kick land. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Trying to close his distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. We've got to whip his hip into that kick. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And now he's got that tight clinch. Big leg kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Lands the right hand. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a joke. Instead, flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down the ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Slips the punch nicely there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Woo! Woo -hoo! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of round number four. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.